David. Hello, Mr. Mears. How are you? You can call me Eric since I'm calling you David. <laughs> I stand on ceremony. <laughs> okay. I'll take that. Um, congrats on the movie. I got a chance to watch it. Enjoyed it a lot. Um, talk a little bit about your character in the film and you know how he fits into the, the action. I think you'd have to agree that uh, Brannigan turns out to be the villain. Um, you know, if we think thematically, he represents greed. And so that's how he's driven. Although he might couch it in other terms. No, he, you know, he never does. He never even pretends to be anything but greedy. I was going to, I was trying to remember if there is some passing nod at what could be called human, but no, he's only out for himself. Well, he'll pretend he's out for you if it helps him. Yeah, what what is it about a character? I mean, obviously you're a veteran comedian, you've had so many great roles. What is it about a role like this that speaks to you and you say like, this is gonna be funny, this is gonna work? Do I say it humbly or not? <laughs> say it, say it like you mean it. <laughs> Give me the honor. Oh, okay. <laughs> Give me anything. <laughs> you can make it funny. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I, I could hem and haw. But no, look, you know, there's a lot of stuff there to play. It's fun. Uh, the challenge is to make sure, you know, even, even if it's a villain, your job is to take care of your character, right? Mm -hmm. um, what does that mean? Take care of your character. Oh, I always, I always think that you're uh, the defense attorney for your character. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So you have to establish why what he's doing is um, okay, right? Uh huh. You have to establish um, a defensible argument for this person to exist in this world, because you don't go into any story and your character never thinks. He's wrong or bad. So you can create whatever backstory you want in your mind to do what you have to do. You know, maybe this guy was broken since he was a child. He was abandoned and neglected. So the only thing that fills his hole is money, right? That's And so he doesn't really have any self-esteem. So he has to gain it with power and, uh, you know, some manipulation, because he was powerless and manipulated as a kid, things like that. So it's a little more fun, but that justifies his behavior, right? Because he's not a fully realized human and he doesn't care. He, he, if he lacks empathy, that's because he never was shown any empathy. Yeah, yeah. Um, talk a little bit about working with Adam and Leslie Uggams on the, the film. Um, is there anything you'll take away or a specific memory of working with these two talents? Well, the specific memory I'm sure everyone is echoing is that we shot this over three decades. Uh, you know, we started in that March or April of 2019. Wow. And then we got halted by COVID and then we had, uh, Another quick start, I think. And then many, many dates were put on hold. Like, we're going to go, we're going to go. And then um, then we finished it. So, uh, you know, to say what's most memorable is that it, we filmed it in that particular time that years from now, grandchildren will whisper to each other, don't ask grandma or grandpa about 2022. <laughs> or about 2020. <laughs> 2021 either. <laughs> yes. So, um, but that was the thing that's probably most, you know, stands out is that we had to, you know, we were, we were going to shoot the whole thing in Oklahoma, but then we were forced to shoot it Oklahoma, New York. Uh, I think, were there other places? Did we go? I can't remember. Um, so that's, that's the biggest memory. Uh, it's always interesting to work with um, new filmmakers. Uh, I've done it a lot, so I'm always open to it. Uh, pretty impressive that 
you know, Adam wrote it, directed it, and started it. That's no easy feat. And it was his his maiden voyage. So that's uh that's impressive. And I think he no, no, wait. Toward the end, he just had a kid. That's right. It went so long that his wife delivered a baby, which I don't think was part of the original plan. I'm sure it wasn't. And at the same time, his wife was uh debuting a a monumental documentary to Netflix. Um, I'm sure you know about that. Yeah. 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 So the thing about how busy his world was to hold it together, I never saw him have a bad moment. Wow. Do you know what I mean? That's really fucking impressive. And Leslie, uh, it's just, I mean, it's an honor. It's a privilege to work with her. Uh, My favorite memories were uh, talking to her about her early days in show business um, and hearing about her family, where she grew up, where she came from. And then, you know, her early days uh, getting jobs, you know, she, she, she worked at the Apollo. Uh, She had all, it's it's also impressive. Of course, I know her from my childhood in roots, but, you know, I knew of course she had an amazing body of work, but um, so yeah, just, just to have the privilege to share some time with a person like that. um, It gives you a sense of, uh, Almost peace. Hey, yeah. Dave, thank you so much to, to, for taking time to talk to us. I really enjoyed our conversation. Really uh, lo- love you as a talent. Um, congratulations on Dottie and Soul, and we hope everyone gets a chance to see it. Thanks, Mr. Mears. Take care. Thanks for watching the You Interview channel. With over 3,000 original celebrity videos, we have one of the largest collections of celebrity interviews anywhere. So remember to like and comment on our videos and subscribe to the channel. If you want to get more involved, you can become a member of the channel. Membership has its perks. You can see exclusive celebrity videos and get the opportunity to ask our celebrity guests questions. We can't wait to hear from you.